you're thinking of going on Clubhouse, well, the first thing you'll probably do is go to a very well-known video channel and have a look what the reviews say. Do you know, I've been on Clubhouse now for uh, about nine months, on and off. <laughs> there you go. Because when you're on it, you're not necessarily going to stay on it for various reasons. But what I was saying is I went on this well-known video channel and nobody had done a review on Clubhouse for quite a long while. I thought that's very odd because it's come on a lot. It's changed. It's had loads and loads of updates. Um, and the people that were doing the reviews <laughs> acquired taste. Um, none of them were British, let's say. Um, and I'd really like to get some more Brits on Clubhouse. Uh, particularly later in the evenings, because you've got to work out most of the people on it are American and as Canadians as well, but most are American, so it all revolves around their time zone, which means f um, the East Coast is five hours behind us. So when we're at 10 o'clock in the evening in Blighty, they're only five o'clock. They haven't probably got back from work yet. And when they get really funny and the rooms get a bit pandemonium which is great fun um it's normally about three in the morning our time so yeah there's not many people i don't do that sorry there's not many people from britain that are there to look after me <laughs> so my name is money bunny on clubhouse and i do lots of nerdy stuff um so i fell ill with covid long long time ago so i'm one of these long haulers um, but I've also got a really scientific brain and I was absolutely determined from the point that no doctor would know what was wrong with me or anybody else like me. Um, I decided to study. So as a result, fast forward, I've become the COVID encyclopedia. Um, there's loads and loads and loads of shows every day on COVID related topics, the vaccines, the people that get ill, um, the natural remedies you can take, all that sort of stuff. So it's very important that you know what you're talking about or you could just make it up, which is a bit of a joke on Clubhouse because mostly, most of the people on there, I would say, are quite professional. They're accomplished. Um, a lot of them run their own businesses. Um, a lot of them are professionals as in uh, doctors, lawyers, and you think, well, how do they spend so much time online on Clubhouse? But the thing is, it's almost like a radio station and you don't have to be part of the broadcast. When you go on to Clubhouse, you're given a selection of titles of different rooms to go in. And as you become more used to it, you quite often get in a little gang of the people that you get on well with. Um, and eventually you get up the courage to press the hand button that says, please, I want to come up on stage. And the first time on stage will be terrifying. Uh, but once you get going, it is good fun. But mm, I don't know how to break this. You will get broken. I did. So what I mean by getting broken is there are some thoroughly unpleasant people on Clubhouse. There are some thoroughly nice people, but the unpleasant people have different ways of showing how unpleasant they are. Now, obviously, they can vocally speak and do what's called roast you. This is an American expression where they start saying very nasty things and start off maybe doing it a bit tongue in cheek, actually in the room, which is being broadcast to anything from 40 people to 400, maybe 1,000, 2,000 people, some of the bigger rooms. Um, but also, a lot of the rooms now have the facility to be replayed, so they're saved and people can listen to them at a later date. And then there's another thing that is like a, a chat between all the people in the room, um, or actually all the people on Clubhouse. Uh, it's called the back channel. So it's just like a messenger type facility. And you can get some really unpleasant messages on there. I don't know why it is. I am one of very few British women who are on the app a lot. And also I am quite often a club or room leader most of the time I'm what's called a moderator. Um, so I'm pretty much always on the stage. Um, I am very often talking. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I started this whole thing because I live on my own with two dogs. And that conversation got pretty dull. So in all honesty, I found this great as a social thing 
because I was getting lonely, and um, you know, during the the pandemonium, I mean the pandemic thing, um, yeah, I was bored, I was lonely, I was depressed, and I found this online group, and obviously it's all audio, so you didn't have to get dressed and put makeup on, <laughs> so that was even, even better. Um, but when you go on it, it's fantastically educational. You obviously learn a lot culturally as well about people from all over the world, because um, there's people from Australia, New Zealand, all over India, um, the Arab states, um, just everywhere, you know, there was a lot of people. But different time zones mean you can miss those people. Um, you can learn languages. You can learn some fascinating things about the history of different countries, about uh, aliens, technology, physics, biology, every single um, illness under the sun. And, you know, it's good because you're sharing real opinions. But the minute somebody takes a dislike to you, it can get really nasty. Um, I came across that on several occasions, but the first time it happened to me was when a female doctor thought that I was talking a load of rubbish. I was not talking rubbish, actually. I had finally researched this thing about women's gynecological problems and the fact that an Oxford University study in the UK was studying women that had had menstrual irregularities um, as a result of having vaccines or being infected with the virus. But one message, bang, in the middle of speaking, myself and another male doctor who was with me talking, we were just kicked out of a room. And that was it. I lost my ability to even log on for a couple of months and it was devastating but most of the people that attack me now well all of them actually are American <laughs> and they are convinced I'm a paid agent I don't even know what a paid agent is and because I have no money coming in I can't work so I'm ill I quite like to be a paid agent um, but it's it's very difficult because it is quite clingy and you often are invited to go into rooms and that room will have somebody in it who is sending you very unpleasant messages on the back channel and you just have to try and get on with it and ignore it so be warned it's just like going for a night out in a city you've never been to if you go in the right bar you'll have a great time meet loads of amazing people if you go in the wrong bar on the wrong street you need to run fast. <laughs> anyway, I will be back, but that's my quick review of Clubhouse. It's free to join. You download the app. You can use it on Android or on your iPhone. And go and do it. You've got nothing to lose. Just log on. Try it. Let me know what you think. Come back and tell me.